started with a girl that I found on Pinterest. As soon as I saw this hair, I knew it was for me and I needed to cut my hair immediately. Don't get me wrong, I love my hair and it took me three years to grow it to my tailbone. But the maintenance is too much to bear y'all. It got to the point where I was more frustrated with it than enjoying it. The hours of detangling, the deep conditioner, waiting eight hours for it to dry. It was too diddly damn much. But the real reason that I wanted to cut my hair was to cut off my past self. I started YouTube eight years ago, right after I graduated high school. It's really weird to look back at my videos because I feel like I'm looking at a completely different human being. Not because I was being fake, but I just had a lot of life left to live and lessons to learn that would inevitably change me as a person forever. On the outside, I liked to goof around as a poor attempt to make people laugh. But deep down, I was battling some pretty intense demons. It's like I couldn't let go of the past and I had this repressed trauma that I still wasn't able yet to process, which was stunting my growth and I wasn't able to move forward. After eight years, I can finally say that this is the most confident and secure that I have ever felt. So for me, cutting off my hair symbolizes and embodies all of the change and growth that I've accomplished. Ooh, oh my god, okay, it's getting me, it's settling in. <laughs> I'm gonna be chopping off over 12 inches of hair, but apart from that, I'm actually going to donate it. I'm really excited, I've never donated hair before, and somewhere out there in the universe is gonna be wearing my greñas. And the piojos are just a bonus. Just kidding, I don't have headless, please accept my donation. I really wanted to savor this day, look my best, feel my best but I also had to make sure that my hair was in the best condition possible so that I could donate it. So to refresh my hair I'm going to be using water and I'm going to be using the Maui Moisture Curl Refresher Mist. It contains aloe vera juice, coconut water and linseed oil which is all very lightweight ingredients for moisture of the hair and it is exactly what I need right now. To refresh my hair first I wet down sections with water. After that is when I go in with my moisturizing spray. I like sprays because they're very light and moisturizing but they don't leave my hair greasy. I put the product over the wet sections of hair. This helps to protect my hair, prevents it from drying out, adds moisture, fights frizz, and increases my definition. If you wanna check out this curl refresher spray from Maui Moisture, check the link down below in the description box. This is it, folks. Soak it all in. This is the last time you're gonna see this. So how do you feel now that it's finally coming to fruition? I just feel like I've been doing social media for eight years and it has literally been dictated by my hair. So I feel like brands have always um, labeled me, put me in the hair box. People have always put me in the hair box. And I just feel like I'm not perceived in the way I feel. And yeah, I think by doing this, it's gonna be like a big moment of validation for me. Yo, I'm sweating. My armpits be sweating, dude. I can smell it. I know, it smells like McDonald's. Yeah, I kind of get a McRib. Oh. I booked a hair transformation appointment with Michaela. Oh, I saw her work on Instagram and I absolutely fell in love. She calls herself a hair artist because she specializes in transformations just to make sure you like it shorter because yeah. have you ever even gone like that picture you never in my life is like the shortest right yeah never in my life yeah the shortest was here Okay. So we went ahead and took some before pictures and Michaela told me that I am actually the client with the longest hair that she has ever cut which is a pretty cool trophy to take home It's finally happening! It's finally happening! I know! First, we put my hair into braids so that we could chop off as much as possible. And I had to put it into braids because that is what was requested of the donation center so they could accept my hair. Alright. Pass the baton. Okay. <gasps> Tell me when you're ready. <laughs> oh, you got it? It's rolling, right? Yes. Oh! Oh! Wait! Oh shit! You did it! Oh my god! Oh my god! Salim, it's gone! Oh my god! 
Oh my god. Yo, the adrenaline in my body right now. <sighs> do it, do it, do it. <laughs> yes. <gasps> yes. Show me the braids, show me the braids. <gasps> oh my god! Like, it already <laughs> looks so cute. What the hell? It looks like you just did it. <laughs> Lord Farquaad yeah. teas, <laughs> berries and cream, berries and cream. <laughs> cream. <laughs> Once I was in the chair and the haircut began, I thought I was gonna be more. I don't know, emotional, but I kind of felt nothing. I was just really, really happy and really enjoying the whole process. Oh my god, it looks so cute. Your hair looks like the one little girl from Toy Story. What's her name, Bonnie? Bonnie? Yeah. <laughs> Oliver from Hannah Montana looking at. You know what? <laughs> I wasn't done quite yet because it was time for my second appointment and that was with Kathy who is a brunette and balayage specialist and we both decided to do a chocolate balayage. So this is a chocolate balayage. Okay. Um, it's more like a live-in balayage. As it grows out, it's gonna be very subtle mm -hmm. and not as harsh, not gonna have any lines <laughs> as it grows out. So you're gonna love it every step of the way. I'm excited. I'm excited to see it grow up. For me, this is more than just a haircut. It's just me further confirming who I am. It, it's a really big deal for me, you know? I've been growing and changing so much and I have really, really grown into my skin and who I am and in my confidence. And I just, this is the most confident I have ever felt. And I don't know, I, just, I feel good. I feel so good. At the end of the day, people are always going to criticize you and judge you and talk smack, so they might as well do it while you're being true to yourself. And I just want to thank every single one of you that has been with me at any point in my journey. Thank you so much. You have changed my life. You have given me so many amazing opportunities. You, you gave me my home. Thank you for being there through all of my growth and my changes, and I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And thank you again to Maui Moisture for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much for being cool with this. I, that was what I was afraid of, that brands wouldn't like this. And you guys were totally cool with it. Thank you for supporting me. And if you guys wanna check out the products, check out the link below down in the description box. Remember y'all, you only get one life. Live it to your fullest. Life is worth living. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.